Hey, everybody. We're here live in Thrive in Toronto, home of Blue Jays, Raptors, Maple Leafs, and Canadian psychic Robert Lindsay Milne. That's me. Welcome to my side of the crystal ball. And we have a stargazing event for you tonight. My good friend of 40 years and more, uh, Robin Armstrong, Grandmaster Astrologer, uh, studier of the I Chi, um, and several other uh, um, Eastern religions and philosophies. And uh, Robin's here tonight. He's going to be talking about his, psych his astro astrological awareness and skills and going to be making uh, predictions as well. <laughs> and I have to tell you, I did something uh, with Robin that I really don't like when people, when when hosts do this with me. Um, out of nowhere, because because Robin had his, you know, his predictions for the year all planned. And uh, just after he got all those done, then I suggested that maybe he could do a yearly uh, astrological forecast for all 12 sun signs. <laughs> and he did it right off the top of his head no planning and it was just a sight to see this you know these two old guys here challenging each other it was just wonderful um stay tuned for that before um we start uh i, I i've got a, a few announcements um and i'd like to share a few personal things to you as well with you as well on january 17th I celebrated the 58th year of being a professional psychic. And um, I have to tell you that 2022 uh, has been the most successful and accomplished year of my long career. 2023 is already adding up to an even greater year than 2022 has been astonishing um i've seen more i've done more i've talked to more people i have this podcast i am on podcasts all over and we are just about to launch um my new psychic class Robert Lindsay Milne, Psychic Way of Being. And it's going to be a four-week program. We're going to meet every week on Zoom, and we together are going to learn to be psychic Robert Lindsay Milne's way. It's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't taught this class in more than 20 years. Now, there is only a few seats available, so if you're interested, you can contact me directly on my website, um, and uh, you can also call me, send me an email at uh, w, sorry, robert at robertlindsaymilne.com. Uh, 2022 brought me accomplishments that I dreamed of and never thought that I would achieve them, but never quit. There's a reason why this great success has um, come to me. And a major reason is because of um, Leave It to Michelle Media. And Michelle Freed, publicist, producer of my podcast, and Caleb Bolgatz, editor, um, artist, hand holder, and um, supporter, um, if it were not for you, this podcast and my great accomplishments would not have been done. And I would like to thank you so very much for all that you have shared and given to me. And I am so excited about what the next year is going to bring us all together. If you're watching us, I have a few announcements. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you, uh, if if you, you can also find us on Apple, Spotify, um, Instagram, iHeart, 
uh, UK Paranormal, uh, TikTok, Facebook, and pretty much anywhere else that you uh, um, get your podcasts. And now, here comes WWRS. Twenty twenty two has been was uh, w one of the most dynamic and uh, professionally successful time in, in my life, and in and in um, two thousand and twenty two and two thousand and twenty one and two thousand and twenty, um, I have had some absolutely amazing experiences uh, coming out of my semi retirement. It's just been absolutely glorious, and. If you watch my podcast or you ever heard me on a podcast, you you, you know that I see things um, in in simple ways, and I and I believe that what we do one way, we must do equally the opposite. The purpose of our life is to experience all things on all levels, and there are a few rules. Experiencing all things on all levels is what we do one way. We will do equally the opposite. Um, so as high as we get, as low as we get, as happy, as 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 sad, as successful, as a failure, um, as good as bad, we we are equally the opposite in either way. And, and, and that's the rule. And in the other rule is that we will experience equally the opposite. And and uh, I believe that. And in 2022 and 21 and uh, 20, I've been kind of pampered and I've been on shows and everybody's been loving me and telling me how great I am and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And and um, I was I was starting to drink the Kool-Aid and and um, uh, I, I appeared on this podcast. Just at the end of the year. And I got booed, really. Like if, like if this would have been, if I would have been on stage at a vaudeville act, they would have like thrown rotten tomatoes at me and and shoes and and things like that. It was, it was, it was just horrible. And um, I I hadn't experienced that ever before. I was horrified. Um, it shocked me. It stunned me. How, how could anybody say anything about that? like that about me well one of the reasons is because what they said or what was written wasn't true um the things that that people saw in me w w was not who i am or even the way i do things oh i wanted to put up a fight uh but hmm can't do that if you did you'd get really attacked and i was already feeling pretty beat up so, um, incidentally, the very next day from out of nowhere, another show that was recorded last year, in the middle of the year, um, was broadcast right after that show, after I got all those terrible comments. And on that show, it got the exact opposite, one right after the other. And and um, for a while there, my ego was hurt. And, you know, I was, you know, why is this happening to me? You know, how, how could I, what, what have I done? And, you know, I started looking at it more and more and more, and I got more logical about it, and I just stood back. And, and you know, all my logical training and, and, and life experience um sort of kicked in the concepts that i that i believe in and i just started running through them you know like so so um we see the world not as how it is but how we are um when people see us they they see in us what what they see in us brings out who they are they don't see me, they see, they see in me what they are themselves. And, and 
just as it is with you. Other people, when they see you, they see you from their own perspective. And as I've always said, you never, you know, you can't be liked or or loved by everybody. It's just not possible. So I did more thinking and more thinking. And I then went back to my fundamentals. And I have this um, way of thinking about um, the way people feel about us. So we have about 7 billion people on this planet, or, you know, this, this, this earth, about 7 billion. I'm not very good with uh, calculating numbers, so I'm just going to pretend that instead of 7 billion, there are 6 billion. So let's pretend there are 6 billion people on the planet. If we line those 6 billion people up shoulder to shoulder, um, um, you know, just in a straight line, at one end of that spectrum, 1.5 billion, 25%, they hate your guts. They just hate your guts. And there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. In fact, if you try to do something about it, they'll hate your guts. And if you don't do anything about it, they'll hate your guts. Because it's not about you. It's about what they're seeing in you that's in them. At the other end of the spectrum, there's another 1.5 billion, 25%. And they absolutely love you. They adore you. <laughs> they treasure you. Um, and there's nothing that you can do about it. If you try to do something about it, they will still love you. And if you don't do anything about it, they'll still love you. And the reason is, it's got nothing to do with you. It's what they see in you that's reflected into them. And then there's another 3 billion, right in between, that go from the twinkly side to the dull side. Um, and we have free choice and free will to be around, interact with whatever people or groups of people or bunches of people that we want. So we can choose to hang out with those that put us down or semi put us down. We can choose those that are neutral. We can choose choose those that, you know, pick us up a little bit. And then we can choose those that pick us up a whole bunch. And then there we can hang out with those that uh, adore us. And we will never run out of our kind. So I realize that no matter what I do, somebody's not going to like it. Somebody's not going to like me. That's the way it is. But what I've noticed in the last while is that far more people like me than not like me. And then somebody said, Robert, <laughs> you must be getting successful because now the people are starting to attack you and that means that you're 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 becoming successful <laughs> and that's what robert has to say <laughs>
Yeah, well, last May. So. Yeah, I moved to July 1st, but I moved out to a small town in the country. It's nice being out here. Is it? Yeah. But it's, it's different. Well, most of my work's online now anyway, so it, it doesn't yeah, matter that me too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, in the old days, we almost never were online, and 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 now I'm online every day, and more so. Like I think I've seen, um, uh, I've had in the last four months, I've had like five or six people that have visited me in person, and everything else has been, uh, you, you know, on online. It's getting easier to do it that way. Well, it's this is this is this format is very intimate because we see each other. Yeah. And you can show things on the screen if you want yeah. to, yeah. And and it really allows and it records it. It's a video recording. It's not. It's perfect. So you've been um, studying uh, what's been well astrology for your lifetime, and you have some thoughts about what um, this next while, the next year is 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 going to bring the whole world. Um, yeah. What what what. how Okay. Last, last year when I yeah. last year when I was on, I was really worried about the year coming up because I felt there was going to be a war. I didn't know where or when, but I just felt there was going to be a war. So now we got the war, you know, and it's it's a good prevalent thing. But in the last month, Jupiter's gone into Aries, and it stays in Aries for the next five months. It stays in Aries till about May till May sixteenth when it goes into Taurus. So while Jupiter's in Aries, Jupiter, Jupiter's a planet of wisdom and opportunity and even luck, basically. That's generally how it works. So that's good for Aries. But at the same time, it Aries is ruled by Mars. So in global in the global scheme of things, Jupiter increases the aggression and the and the justification of war. It increases the self-justification for fighting for something. I'm going to fight for something. I'm going to go for it. Don't tell me I can't do this. Uh, well, I have the right to do this. I have the freedom. We're going to do this. And so it's not a peaceful position. So from now to May, we're not going to see more peace. What are we going to see? More war. Where do you think it's going to go? Well, it's going to build up. There's a few major things happen in the world this year. One is that Jupiter's in Aries till May, and then it switches into Taurus and becomes an issue around finances at that point. But Pluto also is going is coming out of Capricorn for the first time in 15, 20 years. I can't remember. I forget the exact date. For like Ballpark. 15 years or so. For a long time. Yep. And while it's been in Capricorn, it's opposed cancer. And in these 15 years, food, homes, everything's tied up to be so controlled and so expensive. Nobody can afford it anymore. Is that just for Canada or is it for the world? For the world. The world, like everybody's going to be going through this? It has been. We Look, in the last year, in the last 15 yeah. years, the cost of everything, the cost of homes, the ownership of land, the people who don't have it, uh, uh, the pressure in the cities to getting sure. out of the city, all of these things have built up extremely at the expense of food and security. Wow. That's what Pluto and Capricorn, of course, in Cancer. But Pluto's going into Aquarius and it goes into Aquarius on the exact, the first offer, it just goes in for a little bit for the first degree, but it goes in on March 23rd. Can, can, and one of the stay, things, I, I just have to just interject just for a moment. One of the things that confuses me with your, your, your science is that when you talk about, um, you know, Aries goes into um, a sign or or a planet goes into and and I don't understand that and I've been in the business for you know fifty plus years yeah. and some people don't understand what what that means by Venus and Leo. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like music. What, is, it's what like, does that mean? If you're talking about music and you're sitting in a room and you're listening to musicians, they're talking about this interval or yep. this harmonic or this yep. octave or this thing, and for somebody who hasn't studied it, it means nothing. Yes, they still can like the music. Right. Okay. So I was just wondering what, what, okay. Do you want to give so, it a shot? So like, it's a yeah. liter, it's a literacy and it's kind of like a poetry. Okay. And everybody puts the pieces together. They see these, these, these frequencies like the Jupiter, the Jupiter in Aries is a theme. Okay. Aries is a certain theme that's ruled by Mars. So it has a more aggressive theme than other signs. Okay. So you develop a literacy around this. And, okay. But the words are the lowest form of astrology. Okay. So color and energies 
are there too. So it can be interpreted on many levels. Oh, I'm seeing. Oh, I understand. Okay. So uh, when I'm talking about the world, it's sure. basically my worries about what the world is or how I'm seeing it from what sure. I've been exposed to. Right. Of course, everybody's got their, we've all been exposed yeah. by the by the web yeah. and we're all think we know yes. the world. We think we understand what's going on in the world and it should be like this. That's the Jupiter in Aries. We all think we know what's right, what should be done. Yes. And we're ready to fight for it, whether it's for freedom, whether it's for whatever, like, oh boy. But it's to a point that there's not compassion to the other person or consideration of the other person who's doing it differently. Is that on both sides? Yep. Wow. You know, so How close it, to nuclear war are we going to be? Well, it, 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 see, if all the nuclear bombs went off on the planet, it's not enough to take out, to kill all the population. Oh, okay. It's a small amount compared to the energy and the size of the planet and things, but it would create long-term effects like pollution and, and radiation, things that have a longer-term effect. So, so, so even if, even if, Worse comes to worse, and missiles get shot. The the, the world isn't going to be blown up and and and, no, and become we, like we, the moon. No, we would end up having to be here and fix the problem that we messed up. Hmm. So this battle, like this, is my worry of this year. You see the Jupiter increasing the war. Everybody, nobody's going to surrender. Everybody's going to keep fighting. And I'm going to push this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So Ukraine right. and Russia, Russia aren't stopping. They're it's building, and it's probably going to escalate. To some extreme, I think I think probably in May, the Pluto. So as it builds up to a really big extreme, now at the same time, the Pluto and Aquarius ends up being it's changing the area from government and land and and control over food to control over thoughts. What's true news? What's false news? Where Russia is going to disconnect from the world wide web and only have its own web which China more or less already has, which Arabic countries already have. It's, the web is going to become like TV channels that you access things of your choice. Really? That's so in, brilliant. So in so the control... Each, each group has their own internet rather than interacting and you with buy the your, others. Right. Yes, and you buy your own truth. Oh, it's happening now. Yeah, yeah. So you can't know which is. So in the midst of that, there's going to be censorships and harsh decisions about how it can work and how it can't work. Of course, harsh decisions of what works for the world means restrictions for how what how much an individual country can pollute or can do. Right. You know. So there's the, the, this battle is building up to a peak. Control. It will probably force it till something wrong goes. Ha something wrong. To me. The high risk is probably somebody uses nuclear and it gets to the edge where it could have been bigger. It gets controlled in some way by the, 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 like it's a new global order. It's, it's it's aligning who's on which side. And as that happens, there's there will be different types of collision. It's just, then it's going to bounce around what solves it, what solves it, what will work, what won't work. It's not like there'll be heavier rules. You can't do this. But they're not going to be everybody. It's going to be hard to impose it to have everybody follow it. So this is the confusion of this year. The the fighting builds up, the confrontation comes down, and then the application of it gets a little bit fuzzy or complicated. But by next year, these pressures come back again, and bigger decisions will come down again. Bigger control. So that in twenty twenty four. Four. Yeah. So we're not going to. We're not going to a world that's more dissipated it's going to be a world that's more controlled because things there shouldn't be allowed to be wars right okay is that in is that where we're headed after this this skirmish well, well it's not a, a skirmish that, that's my hope okay but but you you have the astrological yeah, um, yeah. signs so that only, show it hey a, 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 red, a red light comes up you can choose to stop or not sure so there. So basically, I think what you're saying is, you know, we are going to make it through this time. Um, things are going to change. Um, there's always going to be assholes, but the good side wins for a while. Is that is that what what yes, you're saying? Yes, but the good side may not look like the good side if it's imposing controls on everybody. <laughs> so we're the good side, right? And the other guys. Are I don't. The bad not, side? If you're if you're living over here, we're the good side. Of course. Okay. If okay. you're living in Russia, they're the good side. They're sure that the rest of the world is messed up. Right. Okay. 
So, and unfortunately, there's also a religious element to Jupiter. So it's almost like the, uh -huh. the religions are being involved in justifying the wars. It's worth doing this. It's worth doing this. We got to do this. Uh -huh. And that, that it's like, oh yeah, prove it. Oh yeah, prove it. And this argumentativeness, the right wing extremism versus the left wing liberalism, this battle is still going on. It's, it's, it's not peaceful this year. Well, so this okay. So this is my take on the world, and it's a simple thing. But when you look at it, you can apply those thoughts to a lot of different streams of what's going on in the world. Okay, there's more controls going to come in. Who enforces them? How they enforce? At what cost? Against what damage? How far do people does people's anger and do country like I don't like to personalize countries, but countries. If you I don't like armies, but. If you don't have an army, you're a slave to another person, to another country. Right, of course. And so, and we don't really have an army. Uh, uh, well, we do. We have a really good army. It's just not that big. Um, our guys, you know, and, and and we are reliant on our neighbors to the south that 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 keeps people from invading us. Canada's north is really vulnerable territory. Well, and and uh, the missiles are going to go over our country, you know, if they also, shoot at one another. It's land that we would have difficulty defending. Right. Okay. Yes, because because it's... Right. To prove it's Canadian. Right. Yeah, so I can like see that borders and Borders and things like this, people are pushing them now. They're going to be set and reset, but nothing... It's not nice here. It's here where... We have to do this because anything else is not acceptable. We have to okay. do this because anything else. So this extreme decisions are there. Now, okay. as that's happening in the world, heck, we got to pay our rent. We got to buy food. Yeah. By the time you're spending $2 for a radish or a carrot, it's crazy. Yeah. So like, okay. And that's you know, going to be happening more throughout this next year? Well, I, th I think this is the, the poverty and the struggle with the financial differences in the world is what's forcing everybody to fight and everybody to be alert of what's going on here because it's not fair. Like most of the war is fought. They get the underdog has, is starving and they're going to fight rather than starve. That's what's going on in Ukraine. You know, so like it's easy to give someone with no money, money a gun and they'll go fight and we'll get you some food. Oh, sure. Okay. You know, so like is this anyway, going to be a global thing? Like yeah, like the fighting? It's happening, it's happening. It's happening. This is happening. When planets happen, they happen for everyone. And there's a vast matrix of which ways it can go. Like so many image lenses on the on the on the jewel, so many facets on a jewel, so many ways they can express itself. But in the general working on the war of, of wars and politics and global mundane concerns. You're not going to find how to mystically use these things in, in a newspaper or on the web. No, You're not going to no. see the mystical side or the sure. interpersonal growth of these things from just the outside news. Those are the things we worry about, we navigate about. And fortunately, if you're in a place where there's not war, count your blessings. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't mean you can't help people or can't do some things. Right. You know, so the, the, this, so the idea of aggressive and movement of people and things being violent, that's 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 till May. That's a short time, really. Yeah, it is. It's like what, four months away. So if things are going to blow up more, they're going to blow up more over these next three or four months. Wow. And okay. then, you know, then how do you fix the mess that's left? That's the thing, cleaning up the mess. I just, just, just going back to something. Um, is 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 there going to be fighting in Canada, like in? One second. I, I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Is there going to be fighting actually in Canada or bombing? I don't know. I, I wish I were oh. psychic and I could pick these things up. I see okay. the patterns. I worry about them. I think about them. And by the end of the year, I got a certain impression. And sometimes okay. I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> like it's, it. But when you take these things that are happening out in the world, they also, those same planets represent personal challenges to each of us. So like, when you have a war, you have millions of people on each side, uh, and some of these wars have been going on for hundreds of years. Yeah, some of the so hatred and things have been going now. on for a long time. Yeah, and it goes back and forth, and it's you know, whoa, it's not like it's not um, it's not like a government. It's like there's just this intense anger or hatred, and it's not justified, but it's being justified now. I was um. 
on Jeff Nara's podcast. Um, it was broadcast, um, I, I think, New Year's Day or a couple of days before New Year's. And and um, I I talked about about um, the, the the fighting, uh, um, and and I, I I saw it happening in in this. I, I actually I can't even remember why I was talking about this um, or or what subject I was going to be comparing it to. Um, so I'm just probably going to have to get that. Um, well, look, my out. point is, yeah, I look at this. I see the I see the timing. Yes. So, I can be wrong about what's happening, but I get a general sense of the feeling around what's happening. Okay. okay. So this is what I see happening in the politics of the world. Okay. It's not slowing down. It's going to okay. escalate till, it breaks, till something breaks. Oh, now I remember what what I was saying. Um, I was um, and I was doing it off the top of my head, and I was talking about similar things that you are now. And when I was about say the possibility of nuclear war. I couldn't get the words out properly. I saw it as a psychic for the first time and and it was shocking and and I struggled and it was it was a fight for me to bring out the words to say that it could happen and and every time I went to say something I stopped and 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 um you know uh, lessened the, 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 what I had to say, but every time I did that, the, the energy got even bigger and bigger. It was it was just shocking for me to so see. We already have Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where a country blew up cities yeah. and millions of people just to, with nuclear weapons. And yes, there were damages and areas in, 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 in circles of damage as it went around each spot. Yes. And then it went through the atmosphere for a number of years and through the water. And that right. But it didn't take everything out. Okay. There's bigger things now, but it's so strange that things like the Russian space station having leaks, and they're going to need the Americans to help them get the guys off of there because the space station is leaking in the midst of all this war. Is that going to happen? Well, that's what's happening now. Like, oh, they're, really? They're, what they're is space... it? What is the race, Russian um, um, space thing um, leaking? It has Oxygen? leaks. In it. They really? Thought it was, they first thought it was coming from from uh, from just space junk, but yeah. they found that it wasn't that. It's something coming from inside the the space station itself. Hmm. As so, in, in the construction. Well, they ha they all have parts. The Russian has okay. a section, and they all have sections. So their section. Ah, I see. So if something really bad happened, they'd probably bring them over to the other side. Okay. But then they have to bring, get them back. Right. And Russia's in no place to get them back right now. So like the states would have to send up a ship to bring the astronauts back. Right. Okay. So there's those are things that require a certain peaceful association. If those in charge care about the lives of the people that are in jeopardy. Or the money, amount of money that went into the space project to begin with for Russia to be that big a part of it. Right. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that was a I'm buying that was a fire station, a fire truck going by the didn't, door. Didn't hear it. There's not, okay. nothing happened. Oh good. This is really okay. fascinating. Um so, and, and this anyway, is going to be worldwide. So they as these things happen in the world. Yep. They also affect each of us personally. Yes. So we run into our fears and our thinking we know it is. There's this fear. Oh, my God, there's this. Oh, there's this. Oh, this is horrible. Nothing can happen because this is worse than anything else that's happening. So we must take an action. And we must do something. We must fight this. Oh, okay. And that's, that's one political view or one personal right. take. Whereas a lot, of, like, you wouldn't. Even in the middle of the Second World War, in the First World War, there were mystics and saints that were living in these places that were just in 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 in, a, in their own spiritual space, and they were the guides for people around them. And the war never came to their yard. Uh, yes, I've heard about that. But they still I, I've touched heard about the hearts that. of all the people around them. Abs okay. So even what if would be the message in that, Robin, to share with if people? There's darkness in the world. If we can maintain our light in our own little sphere. Yeah. We're kind to people in our world, yes. and we and we keep that we maintain that light more than we give importance to the darkness. We'll change the world. Oh, since maybe even being kind. 
But when everybody's pumped up and being manipulated to justify their anger, where, how does it release? Usually you, in a person, you have an accident, you have a crash. Oh, my goodness, I shouldn't have been that angry. I should have calmed down. I got to live Punch different. somebody in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all this stuff. So like, it's happening on many levels. Right. And the wise person has to get clue into the fact that it's some actions, even if you're angry, aren't worth it. Actions that come out of anger or hate or fear, they're going to cause, they're going to, what you put out will come back. Yes, I know. I've learned that. So you learn that not to put those energies out, to take the pressure, to, to take the heat that comes at you, get past the anger, forgive them or yourself, whatever, and just get find a peaceful or a less angry solution. So besides this fighting that we've been talking about right now, um, what other aspects are going to be going on throughout the year of um, 2023? Well, these are the main mm -hmm. ones. These are the main ones. If you, if you, if you, if you let me show yeah, you. Yeah, you show me that. With me. I'll just show you it for, and talk about it for a couple minutes so you can see right. it in a graphic. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now. Here we That's go. fascinating. What, what is this? This is, a, this is a this is a graph. It's it measures the zodiac. It goes from top to bottom is okay. forty five degrees. Okay. So we make eight circles for the whole zodiac. Okay. You know, as, as it goes around, so each planet that moves along, each line moving along is one of the planets, and it shows how much it oh. moves across the year. Okay. But whenever the lines touch, a crisis times happens. Oh sure. Between those two planets. So in this huh. year, I've, mar I've marked the main ones like this, this, okay, here, this up here, this blue one, this is Jupiter. Yeah. Jupiter comes down like this. Yes. And it has a few fits, but a big one is here in May. Then it moves on. Huh. Then, then if it took Saturn, here's Saturn, it goes along here. It has, it, it goes into Pisces. So when, when these lines cross, because it looks like there's, there's uh, two in May, and then it looks like, well, more than that. There's a pile up of five or six major aspects happening in May. And that's and what next, does that what does that pile up represent? That's the next big turning point or new direction in the world. Okay. It may not come easily. But it will okay. become because people who have money want to make more money. And people that don't have don't think it's acceptable. Unfortunately, in the middle of war. The war machines and the war companies and the mm. weapons companies and that make a lot of money. Huh. Okay. America in supplying it's it, in supplying the weapons is not going to have it's not going to lose money out of this. It's of it's course. it's going to gain and over a few years it's going to gain more and more. Okay. But it makes war look justified. Well, we can make more money. Of course, that's how the Russians are thinking too. If we took in Ukraine, we'd have all the more minerals. It makes it look more more money. With 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 some moral cause um, invented, yeah, or without any moral cause, <laughs> just 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 greed. Yeah. Okay. So, but that that same issue that's happening in the world is happening in each of our personal lives. Ah, so so greed is, around how greed May, direct, how much greed is directing you or, or me, and how much are we ready? How much do we really need to have, or how can we get by, or what are we doing? And how are we just, well, I got to do this no matter, don't, don't get in my way, I got to do this. You know, I got to have this car, I got to have this truck, or I got to, don't tell me to slow down. Okay, so so is that going to be kind of like where we are in the West, um, more into that material, physical thing, or is that going to be worldwide? This is all worldwide, this is all worldwide. So we see it according to our country, and then we look out through that veil. Okay. And it must be like in other countries, but every other country, like, the world is globalized. It's not, you know, it's, I mean, China's globalized. India's globalized. It's computerized. It's in some ways can be ahead of us. Okay. You know, so that it, in the end, all the different countries using computers, they're measuring the same information. And sooner or later, it's all going to be the same one computer measuring the same information for every different country. Hmm. Okay. So like, that, this is this is my take on outside stuff. I'm not the best political we, or business person. It's not my so, main interest. But you get caught on these. You see these things building. These times building up. I have to think like that. But the personal side, if you're if you're say you're trying to meditate, 
And yep. you got a kid in the next room screaming. You can't meditate with a kid in the next room screaming. You got to take care of the kid. Right. The point of this this whole buildup is in the world. May is the turning point for the whole year. Wow. All these intensities, there's no intensity that's as big as that pileup that's coming up in May. And how long will it, well, the impact is going to be for a long, long time. Yes, but it's it's in really intense for the whole month. Wow. Okay. So, like, we're not going to know where we're going until we get through this. You're okay. not going to know which side wins until you get through this. But it's very important to you know, instill upon us that that the world isn't going to blow up and it be... No, even, it, it if be all the, even if all the nuclear bombs exploded and 20 cities were taken out. Okay. That's 20 cities out of a lot of people in the world. Sure. So I'm not, I'm not saying that to justify it. I'm just trying to be... I, I understand. Even if, the, if, if, if nuclear were going back and forth, it could escalate a little bit, but it's not going to escalate too long before people we got to stop this okay okay and that and all that stuff's going to be coming about in may at, throughout well, the if, month if, of may. if that if that forces force things to stop it who forces it to stop it it'll be a new global order that forces to stop it because the individual countries want to be the one that are controlling it and stop everyone else okay which the states has been doing since the 40s Okay. No one else um, can have nuclear weapons. Now people, okay. other people do. You know, right. so the coma is not in favor of a crazy solution. Do you think there's a possibility of a karma um, reaction to the U.S. dropping bombs on Hiroshima? It, or do you think that's a, what goes around comes around? Well, that's a, that's a karmic thing. Millions of people died. That we're not fight, they're not soldiers or whatever. Okay. So I'm not expressing my personal opinion around this. I'm just asking these questions. Yeah, I, yeah. So like this like is so, called covering my ass, Robin. Yeah, yeah. I'm just talking. <laughs> if anyone's coming after anybody, is they're coming after you, not me. Yeah, yeah. But it's not like <laughs> it's just my take, my opinion yes, of on, course. on how this stuff is going on. I understand. And you can if you're on if you have one specific view or one specific side, you're gonna see it from that side and think I'm I'm off the mark. Right. But I'm trying to look generally at it in the whole world. Everyone's going through it. But as it breaks down to individuals, we're all fighting to get by. Okay. If we just say, try and stay peacefully, oh boy, it's not hardly appropriate right now. At the same time, there yeah. is room after the COVID is opening up, there is room to expand and to start doing things what we couldn't do before. And 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 those things are what? And this is this is all going to be happening in twenty twenty. You can get what? out. You can drive to a place. You can go to a place. People are going to. You can't like so on a weak spot. People are going to be going to these big like you look at Times Square and New Year's Eve. Yes. Everybody's there. Everybody's two feet away from a foot away from each other, and they're all there, and they're all. But there, there's no way they're they're happy. They're thinking. They're, but right. how many people get sick? Who knows? Okay. But at the same time, the controls aren't going to be there because people have to get out. You can't keep everyone locked up like that. Not for much longer. So like, this is a point where, where the intolerance is built up. But just because the intolerance is built up doesn't mean a solution has to come through that intolerance. Right. They, a solution can come like it was before, without, in the middle zone, like it was even before all these controls came in. It's okay. just people in control really... Governments lined up with big pharma. Big pharma, when they start imposing people, you have to have these drugs put in you when you don't want to take them. That starts being a much more bigger imposition. So with all these things, um, we also have um, 12 signs in yeah. the... Um, in the Zodiac. And each one will the have Zodiac. their own way of responding. So that, the, the, each one will have their own way of responding to this crisis. So fact, somebody yeah. who happens to be Korean will have a different uh, uh, reaction to what's going on than somebody who would be a Cancerian or a... Yes, no, definitely. That's... Yeah. But it's not so simple as just... Like, the 12 signs are the basic themes. Okay. If you, you really... There's three different degrees in each sign, and each one has its own story. Okay. So it, 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 when you look at it close, you magnify it, suddenly it's 360 different stories. 
See, most people don't know that. They just think, you know, your 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 sun sign is your sun sign, and that's what you are, and um, um, you're only one of in 12, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's one thing to see someone from across the street and say, hey, how are you doing? It's another thing to walk across someone, someone walk on the same side to see, oh, hi, how are you? They give absolutely. you a hug. Or after, it's or, another or, thing to be married yeah. to someone and meet them across the street and go home and go to bed. Well, right. it's three different types of intimacy. Okay, I understand. And the okay. planets, the, the, the things that affect the signs are the general, but they you can see the basic theme, like spring or like the themes. But so, when you these crises times, like I'm seeing in May, it'll narrow itself down to people born within three or four days of a sign. Within a certain section of a sign will be the ones getting the main pressure. So, so oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, you want me to go through all the signs? I'll try. What, uh, will you give it a shot? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll just try. Like, uh, like don't, you know, like as as they say, don't make it a big song and a dance. Yeah, you, you know, you, you don't have no, to. I'll, I'll just, I'll just try and, yeah. we'll, we'll try and continue oh, on from here. So if okay. we start, from, if, if we start from Aries, yes, we'll start from this beginning of spring. But the um, for Aries, Pluto's coming out of Capri out of Capricorn, which has been squaring Aries is going to go into Aquarius. So that intense pressure is coming off of a. a off of the Aries. And so they're not going to have the same fear, the same anger. They're, they're just going to have the Jupiter and Aries and the adrenaline. I got to do something. Don't stop me. I'm on a roll. I'm doing this. I'm going here. I'm taking off the air. I'm going this. I'm buying the car. I'm going, get out of my way. Right. Okay. Okay. And if you say no to that, what are you going to get? Run More over. adrenaline. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So Aries is pumped up on adrenaline for the first five months. They'll calm down a little bit after that. So to, at, at the end of May, they'll be starting to chill out. Yeah, starting to chill out a bit more. It's not okay. how they get to that process of chilling out. It may not be quite so comfortable. Oops. <laughs> you know, like, I better not drive when I'm mad anymore. I'm just wanting to go uh, somewhere. I'm driving. I smashed the car. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I better calm uh, down a little bit. Okay. So Aries going to have a tendency to be a bit angry or intense. They always have that tendency to be angry. Oh. So their their wisdom of Jupiter is to understand not to put the anger out and to transform it ah. into noble, wise action that helps people. Okay. That's brilliant. So that's it, that's uh, that's how it comes down personally. I, I know I knew you could do this, you know. Yeah. You know, I I I I knew that you you're going to be able to do this. And this is great. So what happens to what happens to Taurians? Ta well, Taurus, Taurus, yeah. Taurus is strange because Uranus went into Taurus. Uh, oh, geez, I don't have the dates. One second. I, I'm, I'm not going to make any joke about that. Okay, Uranus went into Taurus in 2018. And people thought, oh, it's going to be a new financial order. It's going to be exciting yeah. use of money. It's going to really change the whole world. And this is part of this new wave of changing yeah. the finances, the Bitcoin coming in, all this stuff. It's going, let's go for it. It's exciting. Let's go for it. And so, but what in the end, after what happened, it it made everyone want to get more independently rich or independently free. But really, it extends it increased the greed factor, the individual greed factor. So, so many people have rich money, and so many people don't have any. Yes. And like, so this is part of the battle. What's going on? But it's it's certainly the financial order of the world is changing with Uranus going through Taurus, and it's still in there for. It's in there until 26, 25, 25, 26, and Uranus moved into Gemini. So, so how? Well, the three aspects of, of this is of this is only one. This is only one thing. But while that's a big thing going on in the world, and each each one, the freedom, what to use, or the, yeah. or the fear of losing what I have, or the anxiety around money, it's incredible right now. Because who knows what's real? Of who knows what's stable? You could change Is that going to be going on until 25, 26? Yeah, it's in Taurus till 25, 26, yeah. But okay. while this is happening, Jupiter and Aries is fighting and people are making money off it. When Jupiter goes into Taurus in May, it's going to increase. We want more. We want to get more. It's going to oh, increase right. the push to make more money. The financial decisions will determine the outcome of the wars. And will that also create more inflation because everybody wants to make more money and fill up? It is well, it, it, it seems one-sided. It seems very okay. extremely one-sided at this time. Okay, fighting. 
So, so that like just not the fighting, but even just to, to increase the finances, to increase people's finances, a lot of people are making going to make money out of what's going on. The pharmaceutical companies, the medical companies. I mean, in Canada, you can look at this whole last couple of years as an attack against the Medicare system to try and make it a more financially system where it's not so socialized, it's not so communistic, for example. Oh, I, I've grown up with social. Well, I've dealt with Medicare for years, and I, the I, thing I love about it in Canada. You walk around a city in Canada, you don't see old people on the street falling over and dying or anything like this. It's taken care of. You go to other countries, you see that. Right. And you're really grateful for having this Medicare system. Although yes. it's really under attack right now, and how, whether it survives or not, it's hard to say. Okay, so okay. These, these are the big right. implications yeah. behind it. We're talking about stuff you don't want to talk about. You know, like it's not... But with tourists, well, that's, that, that's why we're talking about it. Uh, so when you're when you're a tourist, Jupiter's going into Taurus. It's the luckiest year in twelve. Okay. When Jupiter goes into Taurus from May till the May of next year, till April next year, and, it's and that, lucky. And that's and that's now, right? It's going. Into, yeah, yeah. They'll see. Okay. You know, we can benefit by this, or this is mine. This is what I want. Okay. That's not that. They'll have their understanding of what they want better than in the years before. Okay. So now, but, now that but it's that, not going to be easy. They'll just be. Because Pluto also has gone, in that same time, Pluto's gone over, it's causing confrontations over the shock, confrontations, and the ability to, I want to expand, it's not coming easy. Okay. Okay, okay. but for Taurus, basically, on a personal level, it's lucky. You could buy a place, you could get pregnant, you could, you could get a new job, you could get a promotion. It's lucky on these little, on these basic things. That's... So when you get to Gemini. Yes, yes, Gemini. Okay, Gemini's the most independent sign in the world. Huh. It's ruled by the mind, the freedom to think, to think what I want, to say what I want. Doesn't matter what anybody says. I think it like this. Or I say, I want to say it. I can say it. So yeah. Democracy is built around this. You can tell the truth. You can lie. You can talk. It's it's just talk. Okay. And we well, and that's creative, but it's not necessarily socially responsible. Right. Okay. So this Neptune's been going through through Pisces square over these last number of years, squaring the Gemini. And it's been distorting the sense of what it's been idealizing, fanaticizing, extremifying the sense of freedom of speech. And what causes you're aligned to this side or that side, rather than, you know, the inside. Okay. Like it's like it's like I summed it up as which side of a chicken has the most feathers. <laughs> I don't know, man. I... The outside. <laughs> oh, the outside. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <laughs> if you're working on the inside, you get rid of the fluff. If you're working on the outside, you're tied up to it. Okay. okay. So, so Gemini's have all these great ideas, and people are going on it. Like Trump's a Gemini. Xi in China's a Gemini. Boris, oh. Boris um, Johnson in England's a Gemini. There are all these ideas. People, let's do get, we'll make it back the way it was. It's not so commit, not so many demands the way everybody else. Okay. And it's freer, and it looks, and people bought it. Oh yeah, this is great. But <laughs> in the end, it ended up being fluff. Right. Because it's, it's good. The independent concerns, which I've grown up with, I'm used to, but yeah. in the world. Pollution, things have come up where there are global things that have to be solved that are going to cause restrictions and limitations to some of those individual freedoms. And that's going to piss us off. Yeah, of course. Okay. That's okay. why people are fighting. Oh, okay. So, so like th these waves build up and they calm down. Okay. It's just not calming down till May. So, in May, there'll be a big turning point. So, you yeah, pray, you get, we get through it. But in astrology, you're thinking all the worst all the time and you're trying to get past it. Oh, right. just, and then you find, oh, we can live through that. Okay. <laughs> you know, I always, I often thought if I lived through 82 to 84, when the world could have really gone, we got past that. But the kids that were born at that intensity are running the world now. <laughs> okay. That's interesting, too. So that's all the computerization and everything. So anyways, that's Gemini. So cancer, cancer has been really threatened for their security and insecure and 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 defensive about I I am a cancerian too by the way. That, yeah, that makes you the good psychic. You're sensitive, you're impressionable. And that's your special gift. But on in a global concern in a world concern, nothing's been working in your favor in the in cancer's favor or Canada and the United States or cancer countries. Nothing's been working in their favor for 10 years. Okay. So food's gone up, money's gone up, right? Property's gone up. 
if you have property, you're holding on for dear life. If you don't have it, you're desperate. So this is changing. Buddha going into Aquarius gets out of Capricorn and stops confronting the cancer. They've got their bear, everyone's got their bearings and more or less know where they are and what they can deal with. There's not more piling on. But the the and the Saturn going into Pisces brings a kind of a calmness of being able to ride the storm a little bit. Okay. So it, it's it's easing off and it's better. It doesn't make it easier, but the Jupiter in the next 40, 40 months that's, a, that's in Aries is squaring cancer is still going to magnify the personal take on things. Oh, what, what this, what this? It's still going to over-exaggerate things. I've never been accused of that. So, <laughs> so the, the issue is to avoid misunderstandings, to not sure. set them up, to not act on them, to take some things, take a few hits okay. for the team. Okay. And then if everybody does that, wow, It'll change how we get along. I like that. Okay, so when you get to Leo, Leo's the 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 glory of the sign. So like it's this ruled by the sun. It's here I am, the 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 noble, creative, proud, confident Leos. Okay, they're the leaders. You know, you just have to be married one to really know this. But <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, they have the need to lead. Now the best Leos are teachers. They say, oh, they're big stars. They're big... No, the best is they teach are showing kids. They're showing people how to do They got the nobility in it. They yeah. love being listened to. People are asking them questions. So the, being able to show people how to do things, that's a special gift of Leos. They just can't stand to be told what to do themselves. I wonder what impact Venus and Leo would have. Not, I happen to have that connection. I, I well, that, that just was... means when you want something, you can charm like nobody else. Not me, Robin. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so like basically, the, the Uranus in, in Taurus has been shaking up the Leo's confidence over the last five or six years. Oh, yeah. But now Uranus is moving in the last half of Leo's are still getting that square. So they're still going to have some instability for the last half of Leo's. But Saturn is moving into Aquarius. Or yeah. is moving into Pisces. So it's coming off of the... For two years, it's been opposed to Leo's, making them at their lowest ebb, feeling really down. And it's just starting to lift now, and it's like starting to lift by about, by about March. It goes into Pisces, gets out of Aquarius, and wow, it, the pressure starts lifting a little bit. They yes. get their confidence back. Usually they find a little skill they add or something they've added on to what they were doing. Okay. And it starts opening up for them. So that's, that's the good news for the Leo's. It's not getting worse. Okay. Well, that said, there are still there are still some Leos in the last half of Leo that are going to get hit by Uranus and still have sudden shocks. Right. But generally for Leos, the two things aren't piled up. They're, one of them's lifting. So uh, there won't be so much trouble with responsibility and authority. Right. Okay. It'll be a little bit easier to get by. So Virgos, like Geminis, they've been hit by Neptune and Pisces, opposing them for the last 10, 10 years or more. Like they've been What's real? Like the, like they're the perfectionists. They got the system for everything. Got everything analyzed. They got they're, they're meticulous. They're exacting. And just when they're being exact, the whole world is acting like they're stoned. So so so, so the Virgos got two ways. They had one way of being overly fanatical. It's got to be the system. Or oh god, everybody's crazy. Let me out of here. Okay. So it's been haunting for Virgos. So basic work ethic. To put in some time, you get paid for it, you build up your effort, you make some money, you do so. That normally works really well for Virgos in this last craziness of the last two years. The financial, the Bitcoin, everybody's trying to make fast buck, do everything quickly. It's gone against the spirit of Virgos. Now, that's lifting up. Like Neptune's towards the end. Within three or four years, Neptune gets out, gets out, of, gets out of Pisces, moves on into Aries. But right now, it's still at the end of there. And when Jupiter conjuncted, Neptune over the last year, that was the peaks of the COVID. Oh, really? It's the expansion of Jupiter and the confusion and the weakness and the plague-like things of Neptune, it brought in all this confusion, all this fanatical understanding. Everybody was afraid of everybody. Yes. Yeah, we should do, this, we should do that. And everybody's solution is like a cold. There's a million different ways to solve a cold. 
the best way is to not tell anybody else or you won't get a whole bunch of things thrown at you. <laughs> Especially if it's COVID. <laughs> yeah. So the same thing, like with yep. the fanaticism and the women that came with it, now we're past that. Okay. So because that's just past it, Jupiter comes out of Pisces, goes into Aries, it builds up the aggression. I'm not putting up with this. I was, that sucks. I'm going to do this. So that built up the war energy or the fighting energy. <laughs> Of course, it, right. it's totally understandable. It's right. just not acceptable. Right. It's not peaceful. It won't settle well. So something will blow up. You break a leg. You break an arm. You smash the car. And something happens. Oh, gee, oops! You run into a great god. Oops! Then you realize I better be a little more humbler. Ah. So, but Virgo, but Virgos don't have the. They have. They've had six months where it's been a little crazy. Mars has been in Gemini, and everybody's. It's been opposed Neptune. Everybody's fighting distorted causes. So Virgo's just trying to keep things steady when everybody around them is going crazy. That's why I read the poem "If" last year because if you can oh, hold it yes. together when everything's going crazy. Oh, that was the re. Okay, now uh, you're you're a little faster than me, Rob, and I understand now why you shared that. Now I understand. It took a year. Yeah, yeah. but but it's, a, <laughs> it's just if something comes out of sure. the feeling, you feel it, you get into your study, and sure. some ideas come out. It's not like I know the solutions to everything. I struggle to get to it by myself each day. You know, so like it's 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 just I'm looking at things, not to blame people, just to see. Well, Virgos are almost coming out of this. Most of the Virgos are past this confusion state. They're seeing a lot more clearly now, and things are getting more practical for them. And the Jupiter and Taurus will be fortunate for them. That's amazing. So, okay. So Libras. Yep. When Libras, Libras are the visionaries, the dreamers. The, if, yeah. if they can see where they're going, they know exactly what to do. But if they can't see where they're going, they go back and forth. Like, if I'm not sure where I'm going, I'll go in and out. The, I'm a Libra. I'll go in and out the door three times. Did I leave this? Did I forget that? Did I do this? I'm going back and forth three or four times. Yes. If I know what I'm doing, I got it to get boom. I'm jumped, I'm out there. I'm going. You know, so like they they they're the opposite of Aries. Aries go on impulse. And they, they're thinking about it later, but Libras have to think about it first. Once they have the thought, they know what to do. So in relationships, Libras are the bossy ones. Huh. They're, telling, they're, they're, they're controlling by their ideas. They're telling people, we should do this, we should do this, this is better, and this, this is better, and that. And how do you argue with it? Right. So they, this is the, the Libran way. Sure. But so Jupiter is opposing Libras. So for six, six years, Libras have been doing things and then saying, well, I'll try this, I'll try to see where it goes. See what at least this is a good idea. We'll try it. We'll see where it goes. Now they they, they finished that Jupiter's got into Aries. That's opposing the Libra. So there's a shift of understanding. So for the and it takes and it's taking it's going to take the next five months to work this through. So what happens is you can't keep going that way. Start things and then see how it goes later because that's causing too much problems. Now you won't succeed. So once you understand, you have to understand what you're getting into and the vulnerabilities before you get into it and you select properly. Once that wisdom comes in, you got a lucky six years ahead of you. Until right. then, you're going to have misunderstandings with people until you get your uh, you get you realigned to waiting for the understanding and the insight before you act. Wow, oh, that's brilliant. But it's not bad. It's good once it happens. But if, if you're in control and you're doing things and you're not ready to change your understanding, you can make a lot of mistakes like Putin's a Libra. Oh, I didn't know that about Mr. Putin. So he's seeing we're doing this, we push this, we'll see how far it goes. And he can't keep doing that, but he doesn't know how to understand to change it to see where it's leading to before he gets into something. Mm. Okay. So that's just an outer example. But we all have it in our own little worlds. That's really If you're married to Libra, your spells will know. <laughs> Okay, so so there's a tendency for leaders to over exaggerate, over interpret sure. things. Sure. Okay. So, okay, but if you don't act on it and you wait to refine it, and you and you, it, you, it does cultivate a better a better you, a wiser you. And how are my favorites? Uh, Scorpio is going to be doing. Well, I have lots Scorpio. of favorites. I, I have an, I have a twelve uh, favorite signs in the zodiac. It's so. getting better for Scorpio. It's getting better is for Scorpio. Scorpio is the most trustworthy sign in the zodiac. Really? If you go, it's the only sign you can look right in the eye and you know in a second whether they trust you or not. By just the eye contact is sincere no and right on. Kidding. And if they don't, if they can't look at you in the eyes or something, if the Scorpio can't look in the eyes. They're in trouble. But usually. Most people don't look you right in the eyes anyways. 
Huh. So Scorpio need this trust. I'll do this for you. You do this for me. Just don't 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 go against the trust, or I'll kill you. <laughs> or even if, yeah, okay, wow, okay. yes. Or I'll mess up your divorce. Or I'll do whatever. Of course, like, of course, yes, I understand. Once you get the anger and the rage, now Jupiter and Aries creates all this anger and rage. Now Scorpio is going to be very judgmental. It's it's not. It's going to choose sides. No, not this, not this. So it has a tendency to be pulled in by virtue of the adrenaline. Okay. And, but Uranus is still in, Tor in Taurus opposing Scorpio. So this is not a great time for Scorpio financially because they, things are breaking down in sh shock and it's, it's upsetting. And they're having to develop, like in the last half of the year, they're having to do what Libras are doing. They have to re-understand their take and understand where things are going before they make their move, not just on their judgment. They have to learn that different perspective to see the other half. Right. Okay. And that means to forgive yourself, to get out of the, all the past things. So much of your energy is based on past judgments. How do you get out of the judgments to yes. get to a point of peace? Yes. And what happens if your judgments weren't right? They were real for you, but maybe there's a better perspective. So Scorpios, are the, they have beautiful qualities. If someone's down or out, they're not going to quit. They're, they're right. going to be in there. They'll be right in there holding in. They're really dedicated. Sure. At the same time, that self-justification can be fanatical and hurt a lot of people if it's not correct. Okay. So is there love among thieves? Is there trust among gang members? If things like are going it, good, yes. And if someone goes against you, what do you do? Kill them. Or fight or whatever. Like, sure. So it, it's harder for, like, this is why martial arts or Tai Chi or the movement-based disciplines are really healthy for a Scorpio because it doesn't teach the aggression. It teaches how to be passive and not be aggressive while you're moving. Ah, okay. So now the next sign Okay, so is Sag. Sag is, the, Sag is everybody's most interesting sign. They're so fun to know. They know everybody. They? They're yeah. so entertaining in that way. They always have some different say in something, have opinion about things. They see things. They have this overview. And they tend to generalize, but they can get overextended and and disoriented. Like uh, I can't keep up with this. I got too much going on. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it there. I'm sorry. They can get disoriented. so with Neptune being in Pisces, it's been disorienting the Sagittarians for ten years. Which real? Which 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 place should I go to? Which theater should I be? Which person is real? Which group is long? Which is correct? And they're all seeing a bit of all of them. So when it's positive. There's a real great kindness. When it's negative, there can be a fanatical pathos. So now Saturn going into Pisces is going to make it, it's like time for Sagittarians to go, grow up and start working. They've been drifting and spacing out for the last number of years. And there's just, you mean I'm going to have to do the work for this? You mean if I have to write a book, I'm going to have to write an outline? I'm going to have to make the structure? I'm going to have to do all these boring things first? I can't just dictate it off? So, but that effort will pay off. So there's a, the, the, the Sagittarians, the Jupiter in Aries is, is increasing their enthusiasm. All this adrenaline is increasing their enthusiasm. When it gets in Taurus, it's not really extreme. When it gets in Jupiter, they have their adjustment in a year, in another year from now. Mm -hmm. But right now, there's not the breaks. It's more, it's the Saturn going to Pisces where, wait, what's right? What's good? What's worth working towards? What's not? And they're having to just sift through out of all their options which things they'd rather be aligned to and which things are pathetic that don't deserve more energy. Okay, so then you get the Capricorns and Capricorns, they're the serious planning, controlling signs. You know, they got a plan for everything. They're structured this, they got this, they got time for this, got time for this, but they don't show their emotions. They keep them, they can be very emotional, they can be very, they're very sensual and very sensitive, but they don't show emotions. They'll back off from it. They're shy. So if someone else is going through an emotional upset around them, they usually think that person's being weak and I'm stronger. I don't have to show that. Uh -huh. But it's practical. You know, like I want to accomplish something. I want to get respect for something. I want to be respected. I want to accomplish things. That's the good energy. And Capricorns have the ability to listen better than any other sign. Really? They listen. If you're sitting in a restaurant and someone 10 tables over has mentioned your name, you'll hear them. Really? So wow. they, they, they hear things like that. So like the hearing a lot of great musicians, Elvis, other people had the Capricorn 
they listened, they could hear. They were never going to be caught off beat. They would keep mm -hmm. their timing. So mm -hmm. Capricorns have a plan. Their plans have, they've been against all the battles and they've been controlling and disciplining their world. We've got to do this, we've got to do this, we've got to do this. They're holding these situations for this last year. You know, Pluto's going out of Capricorn this year. It, comes, it goes out from March to June, it comes back in again, and then by next year it's gone. So mm -hmm. the, that extreme intensity, I've got to control it this way, got to control it that, that's lifting. At the same time, that ex on a personal level, that control is the kid's growing up and doesn't want to live the way we're doing. Our kid's smoking up, our kid's gay, our kid's, what? How could this be? And it brings all these issues up. Of course, the kids are loving it and the parents are threatened by it. That, that power struggle is lifting a little bit. Okay, it's coming to a more, it, it's, it's change, it's morphing. Okay, so like, but the pressure is coming off the Capricorns. The Jupiter going into Taurus, it's good for Capricorns. They've already got this stuff planned practically, and Jupiter goes, it's good for the Taurus, for the Capricorns. Okay, so they don't, for, for the Capricorns don't have much adversity over this, except for the Jupiter, the ability to get exaggerated and to be pulled into other people's misunderstandings. So if they can be aloof and not get pulled into the misunderstandings, not invest in them, they got a, a fairly lucky year ahead. And how about... Um, Aquarius. Yeah. Okay, so Pluto going to Aquarius. Aquarius is, they're smart, they're rational, they're strategic to plan everything. They got a plan for everything. So when you read about Aquarius, they say Aquarius are exciting, radical, revolutionary, eccentric, they'll do everything, they'll change everything. No, no. Koreans are like the union. They're practical. They're cautious. They'll fight, they'll break up anything if some, there's an injustice. Then they'll get a gang together and we'll all walk out. They'll be radical oh. if okay. there's an injustice. Right. But if there's nothing injustice, they're cautious. They want respect. They want to be listened to. You can't say, hey, stupid, how are you doing to an Aquarian? <laughs> Okay, you gotta say, hey, how you doing? I'm, you gotta give them respect for what they know. You can't just interrupt them easily either. You gotta sure. listen. <laughs> okay, so with Pluto going into there, parents are being, I got to do something. I have to do something. They're, they're being challenged in their mind. Do I do something for God or do something for business? It's like Christ or Caesar. Which way am I going? Which plan am I on? So do I go Bitcoin or do I do not? Do I just protect the, like, so the, the, what's yeah. true becomes an issue for a court. What's true and what's respectful? Wow, all this stuff of the lack of truth, not knowing one side, that's, that's been upsetting for Aquarians. Mm -hmm. So the Uranus and Taurus, the, cha the changing of finances wasn't just the shock, the greed, the shocks of, have been very upsetting to Aquarians. Changing their ideas, shaking up right. their confidence in their plan because it's changing more than they expected. Now they're going to get control of it, and they're going to say, no, we have to do this. They're going to have to take this way. I'm going to solve it this way. They're going to be a little bit more sharper. So the Jupiter and Aries doesn't really affect the – it's not a bad influence for the Aquarians. At least things are being done. They can get their take on it. It's not really a hassle for them. It's when it goes into, when it goes into, when it goes into Gemini for the last half of the year. Then there's a tendency to be over mess. Oh, oh, to when, when it goes into Taurus, I'm sorry. When it goes into Taurus, then it will be challenging Aquarius, and they'll have misunderstandings and struggles. What's of their sense of what's true and what they have to do? You mean what do you mean? I was wrong about that. No, I can't do it. The, the, what, what, whoa, wait, what? Okay, so th this is this this it's an intellectual battle, but it's really a fight between the mental interpretation of the world, the atheistic mental interpretation of the world. And they're using the mind inwardly is there a god or is there a spiritual side to it? Right now, between the spiritual sides of thinking and the atheistic sides of thinking, the scientific atheism is winning hands down and making all the religious groups look bad. Of course, the religious groups are acting kind of stupid to make, not to feed into this. Right. So the Aquarians want the knowledge. They want the truth, the education. Look what's happening in Taliban and, the, and people not being able to educate. How can that be? Yeah, how can that be? You know, but that's only one reflection. These these things aren't just happening there. They're happening in small ways everywhere. You take any fundamentalist group that has a control over there, or any group, not even fundamentalist, that has a control over their group, you try and break away from a group, well, you're going to be blamed. Oh, yeah. Or prevented. And, and, and then your intelligence fires up. 
and you find out what's true. Huh. Wow. With truth on your side, great things can be accomplished. That's fabulous. And now we have Pisces. Pisces. The kindest, most romantic, most loving yeah. sign in the yeah. zodiac. They're yeah. nice. They're, they're so kind. They're so friendly. Yeah. But they don't have discrimination to stop. Like, if you love one person, you got to love everybody. You got to live. It's like, <laughs> like nice to everybody. It's yes. hard to say no. So, Neptune going through Pisces and Jupiter in this last year going through Pisces, it, even though on one level it was the extremes of the pandemic, it was the visionary extreme for Pisces. Everybody, oh, it's going this way. This is the take. This is where it's going. It should be like this. Or this. It's been the most adventurous opening up time for, for Pisces. Their whole philosophy, their whole outlook has changed over this last number of years. And Jupiter's just coming out of Pisces, so they've, they've had their vision. Now they've got to see what they can do to, to extend it. You got the seeds, you got the ideas. For every idea you get that you get inspired by, you get a thousand hours work to do to make it real. Right. You know, so like, oh, so, so, but they, they've had a vision that they would, that some signs never get in their lifetime. <laughs> but it's, yes. they've had Aquarius had theirs before. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. And I think we've come full circle. Yep. So the solution We've been around the zodiac for Pisces right now, they don't have really big interferences. They just have to keep control of their temper and not do stupid things out of anger. Huh. Okay. You know, I, I, you know, we have to uh, tell everybody. I actually asked you to do that forecast, and you before we started, just before we started recording, and yeah, and going before. through the signs. Um, has been a really fabulous experience for me. Um, I watched it, it. It's been a real pleasure watching um, a great pro uh, just doing their thing, and and uh, it, it's really been fabulous watching you do your thing just off the top of your head, Robin. Um, thank you. Yeah. It's been fabulous. Every thought you have takes a lot of worry beforehand. <laughs> you know, you a lot of reflection and wondering, thinking about it beforehand. Sure. So. Well, you you did great. Um, so there's a bunch of things that you do, and and one of the things, on, um, you you also people that subscribe to your channel or subscribe to your your website, they they get um. Uh, a monthly astrological forecast for the sun signs. Yeah, not uh, generally. It's just a general one for each sun sign. There's a little right, room. right, and and um, you also do astrological readings. Yeah, that's the main thing I do. If, if it's like the timing in your life. Yes, you know, I'm like the conductor that reads the symphony. You're dancing your life. You're gonna dance your way anyway. So get what I say. But sometimes when you're struggling with it. Boy, if you're used to dancing, you're dancing a waltz and suddenly put a tango on. You could fake it for a minute, but if it's going to go on for 10 minutes, you're not going to stay on the dance floor. I understand. So knowing your timings can be really useful astrologically. So, Robin, how do people find you and get access to this brilliant mind you have and this fabulous gift that you have? Well, the best, the first way I have, an, I have a store, a website store. Okay. That you, where you can order a consultation that it's um <laughs> I, I used to have one set website i have about 20 now because that one yeah. got hacked and i had to put them it's together it's amazing so, how you do that but uh, it's iastrostore.com iastrostore.com and, and we'll put that on um on, on the, the yeah, so that way you can get you can order consultations, you see classes, you can see workshops, you can right. see books available, just videos, stuff like that. But each of those, I have a bunch of other websites, yes. you know, so like, um, if you went to, if you got to any of them, they have links to the other ones. But if, if you just went to my name, robinarmstrong.ca, you'd, you'd get to my resume site, which has all my, all my stupid stories. It has been so much fun watching you do what you do and 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 i just want to thank you so much for sharing this and and it's been a pleasure watching from this side of the crystal ball uh how you're doing your thing thank you you're welcome thank you it's nice to be on your show 
Well, that brings us to the end of another fun, exciting, um, riveting uh, podcast. I'd like to thank my guests and, and personal friend, Robin Armstrong, for sharing his predictions and especially um, doing the uh, yearly sun sign forecast for the entire uh, horoscope. <laughs> that was really great. Thanks, Robin. Um, and uh, by the way, if uh, you are watching us on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Just that's one of the things that I want to say. But also, don't forget, we're putting on Robert Lindsay Milne psychic uh, uh, class uh, coming up in February. So keep checking in or 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 uh, send us an email and register there's not that many seats available and um it's it's first time i've done this in uh 20 years i'm really excited so come on along and join me on um uh in in the psychic class four week four weeks in, in a row by the way so you can find us on youtube you can also find us on instagram facebook um youtube tiktok uh as well as apple spotify iheart uh uk paranormal and pretty much anywhere else you get your podcasts if you'd like to find me personally you can see me um on my website www.robertlindsaymilne.com and uh now as i'm just about to you know close down Please hear these words. Do good, stay safe, and above all, just be kind. Good night, everybody. Come on.